This is Norm MacDonald, one of the most decorated comedians in Canadian history. Born in Quebec City and raised in Ottawa, he's known to many as the former news anchor of Saturday Night Live's Weekend Update, or for his unforgettable appearances on late night television. In 2013, Norm struck comedy gold with the release of his video podcast, Norm MacDonald Live. At the time, nobody could have predicted that his new show would prove to be a harbinger of doom. I will not eat a single morsel of food until Margaret Thatcher is dead and buried. She died three weeks ago. As for his trusty sidekick, Norm called upon an old acquaintance by the name of Adam Egott, a former sex worker turned manager of a notable comedy clubs, such as the Tempe Improv and the world famous Comedy Store. I met you underneath the Queensboro Bridge. You at the time were jerking off punks for $15 a man. My whole family's watching, man. My grandmother. Your family doesn't know that when you were a young man, you used to jerk off punks for $15 a man? Egan's role would be to play the Ed McMahon to Norm's Johnny Carson. And together, they quickly gained both fame and notoriety as a rugged comedy duo, reminiscent of the old days of late night television. The show had three seasons, which were released sporadically over the next four years. This Lindsay Lohan can't swim a stroke, but she sure knows every dive in town. In 2015, the misfortunes began with the passing of stand-up veteran Jack Carter. How old are you, sir? Oh, uh, do we have to do no. that? No. It would be nearly four years before the curse strikes again, claiming the lives of Super Dave Osborne, Carl Reiner, Billy Joe Shaver, Fred Willard, and Larry King. You know what the new thing they call it is? Dirt nap. Good God, Larry. Even the career of Roseanne Barr fell victim to this merciless hex. Some felt that there was a dark force eating its way through the long list of guests who once appeared on Norm's show. Then, in September of 2021, it came for Norm MacDonald himself. You've been thinking about your mortality a lot lately? Or? Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't run from it. Ah, fuck, I was hoping you could. <laughs> Norm was secretly fighting a battle against cancer for the last 10 years. A battle that resulted in the best outcome he could have hoped for, a draw. While the hearts of his fans were still heavy with loss, the curse of the podcast struck twice more, with Norm's dear friends Bob Saget and Gilbert Gottfried. I'm old enough to remember back to simpler, more innocent times when the worst thing you'd hear about was hijacked jetliners flying into buildings. Oh, now, Gilbert, <laughs> you're going to get into trouble again. Who could have been responsible for such misfortune? Some look towards Adam Egott, Norm's former brother in arms. Many wonder if Egott held within him a deep resentment for his treatment on the show, often finding himself at the butt end of many jokes and insults. Well, Adam Eager told me something I didn't know. He said you worked with Red Fox on a variety. Yeah, I heard that. I'm, I'm dying to I hear I produced Red Fox variety. You told me he just worked on it. Worked on it? Well, that's, I mean, according to your Wikipedia. What do you Wikipedia, think I was, a stagehand, you douchebag? Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the AB show, ABC, ABC show, Nashville. Start again. You can't spell, spell ABC. ABC. <laughs> Real Ed McMahon over here, huh? Ed McBoy. He can't even tell his own joke. No, I'm not a good... Anything. Yeah. Ben Affleck has vowed to live for one day on a dollar fifty, or as Adam Egett calls it, a raise. Adam Egett? Oh, is that your name? <laughs> Fucking change it. This guy, they got hired this guy to ruin all the interviews? <laughs> Some even believe that the co-host used his knowledge of ancient and arcane arts to exact revenge on his employer and all who conspired against him. Perhaps after dedicating his immortal soul to vengeance, he performed an evil incantation, setting a series of events into motion that would come to be known as the curse of Norm MacDonald Live. I mean, this guy was a real jerk. So what's really going on here? Is there a pattern connecting all of these former guests cut down by the Reaper's scythe? Could this be the result of a malediction uttered by a disgruntled comedy club manager? Or is this simply the merciless nature of life, the regular progression of the world, and a grim reminder that the end will come for us all? More importantly, who's next? David Letterman? Billy Bob Thornton? David Spade? Organist Ray Manzarek died this week at the age of 74. The curse of the doors. Only time will tell.